After a week of Channel 6 reporting on student violence in and around Colleen schools and getting stonewalled, officials say they will finally address the issue with the public tomorrow night. Parents will be able to talk to administrators and city officials at Shoemaker High School about their concerns. Tonight, Channel 6 News reporter Imani Payne spoke with a former student who shared his own experience. Where I got jumped, there was no teachers. There was, there was not a teacher. Former Shoemaker High student Javon Lauer says he was recently jumped in the bus loop by three kids at school after he was labeled a snitch. Like there was a big old crowd, they were screaming, screaming. And then after everything was done, like five minutes later, a teacher was like, are you okay? The boy's mother claims the violent attack left her son with a concussion and knee injury. But Javon says his experience isn't out of the ordinary for kids at Shoemaker High. He says so many brawls break out at the same time that it makes it difficult for the teachers to try and stop them all. Like people get jumped like in five different areas at the same time. And then like teachers are going like from place to place. But then by the time they get there, it's over. His mother pulled him out of the school the day after the incident, saying she was concerned for his safety. I cannot put into words how mad I am that these children are still in class, going to school only to fight and make videos for Instagram, while my son is missing his education. The mother says she's thinking of alternative learning options for her child and she's not alone. This online poll shows other parents in the district considering alternative options in response to the fights as well. But many hope tomorrow's town hall discussion might ease some of their concerns. Reporting in Colleen Imani Payne, Channel 6 News. And again, the town hall will take place at Shoemaker High School tomorrow from 6 to 7 in the evening. We'll have a crew there to continue our push for answers.